Well, a rare but serious disease spread by mosquitoes is now circulating in the Northeast U.S. Lexi Horvath spoke with the Hamilton County Health Department on what you should know about the potentially deadly mosquito-borne vi virus and who should be on alert. Let's take a listen. I think it's mostly a uh, concern for people who are traveling to the Northeast from here. As of August 27th, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has reported four total cases of eastern equine encephalitis, also known as EEE, a rare but serious disease that can cause brain inflammation, according to health officials. It caused the death of a man in New Hampshire. They've had a couple more human cases. Causing harm along the Northeast. These diseases are um, vector-borne, which means they travel between mosquitoes, humans, and often horses and other animals. And here in Tennessee. West Nile is the most common one here. We also sometimes see uh, dengue and malaria, but that's exclusively due to travel to other countries and people come back and develop illness. A disease previously detected here in our area. The last case we had in Tennessee was in 2019 and it was in Hamilton County. But while most people are asymptomatic and won't develop symptoms. Of the small percent that develop symptoms, most of them are flu-like symptoms, so fever, headache, achiness, things like that. It's caused through a bite of an infected mosquito. They've received some bug bites and they four to 10 days later develop some symptoms. Um, then they should call their health care provider. Dr. Don Ford says that mosquitoes travel short distances, tending to stay in the same general vicinity, a viral spread less likely from mosquitoes traveling. So when diseases move from one place to another, it's typically because of human movement or larger animals. And while bug spray is highly recommended to keep yourself safe from the virus, there are more preventative measures. Wearing long sleeves, long pants, avoiding times of high mosquito activity, which is from dusk to dawn, so about 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. No vaccines or medicines available to treat the disease, also known as triple E, according to the CDC. Approximately 30% of people who develop severe EEE die, and many survivors have ongoing neurological problems, as stated by the CDC. Ooh, this is definitely a scary situation because there's not a lot that you can really do to prevent it. I know I got a bunch of mosquito bites this past weekend when I was outside. Now, <laughs> Lexi, can you tell us a little bit? about preventative measures, what people can do, the most they can do to try to protect themselves from Absolutely. this. Absolutely. So they really recommended wearing long sleeve clothes, long pants, and avoiding the peak times outdoors. That's going to be from dusk to dawn. They said around 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is where mosquitoes are normally at their peak outside. So you really want to use as much clothing as you can, as well as bug bite spray. All of this mm -hmm. mosquito spray, she said, yes, that does help. But if you're with a lot of protective clothing, that will be a much better way to keep them off your skin. We know mosquitoes you know, generally breed in that still stagnant water that can be collected from rainwater in pools, ponds. So if you're, you know, make sure that your gutters are clear so when it rains, if any water collects up yes. in those sorts of areas, I think a lot of people don't really realize that. And so just around your home, I think is where a lot of experts say you're most likely to be bit is just on your own property. Absolutely. And they really mentioned that a lot of people are asymptomatic. You're mm. not even going to know you have this. And this, you're going to start to see it if you have flu-like symptoms, whether it's a headache, you start having achiness, a fever, that's when it starts to pick up. And they recommended about four to 10 days of it. That's when you might want to go seek a medical professional just to check up on it. You know, I mean, right. I've just like Hannah, I have mosquito bites going outside. It's scratchy. But once those symptoms start getting severe, that's when you might want to go get checked out. All Certainly right. so. We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.